Hello guys, welcome back to the debug arena. In the previous video, I have shown how we can register as admin in our React Native application. And once we are logged in as an admin in our application, we will be navigated to this admin home screen where we are showing the list of all the registered users in our application. Now in this video, what I will do, I will show a delete button here so that whenever we are logged in as an admin, we will have the right to delete any user who are registered in our application. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing is we have to show delete icon here. If you are following my playlist, then you might know that I have integrated React Native Vector icon in my project so that I can use any icon from there. If you want to learn how to integrate React Native Vector icon in your project, then you can go and check out my video. Now I will come here and let's import icon from React Native Vector icon and I'm going to use icon from Material Community icons. Then I will go to the structure and you can see this is the structure of the card and here I will create one view and inside view I will write icon which I have just imported and here I will pass the name of my icon which will be delete and here I will pass the size I think 30 will be enough and at last I will pass the color which will be black. I will save this and you can see I am getting the icon and it is totally looking good. Now I will go to the backend and let's create the API to delete the user. Okay, this is my backend code and here you can see I have created multiple API for register, login, also we can get the user details and update the user and we can get all the user data. So if you also want to learn all of these things then you can go and check out my previous videos. Now I will come here, first let me minimize this, then I will come here and I will create the API for delete. So I will write here app.post and my API name will be delete user. Then the first important thing is that we will have to accept the ID from the user which we want to delete. So here we can receive that ID from request.body like this const ID equals to request.body. Now I will create here try and catch block and inside try and catch block I will write here await and we will await for user. This is my MongoDB schema and in this I will use delete one to delete the user and which user we will delete? The user which will have ID same as the ID we are getting from request.body. And if this operation is successful, we will send the response which will be response.send status is ok and the data is deleted. Otherwise, I will send here error. Ok, it is done. Now I will save this. Then I will again go to the front end. Ok, now in front end, first I will create one function here. So I will write here function and name will be delete user. In this, I will write axios and my method name which is post. After that, I will pass the URL here and this is the URL and you can notice here that I have passed here my IP address because localhost will not work. And instead of this user data, I will pass my API name which is delete user. After this, here we will have to pass the ID like this but the question is how we can get the particular user ID. For that, I will go to the card and in the card you can see that we are getting user details inside this data. So I will come here and I will write here on press and on press I will call that function which is delete user and in this delete user I will pass data then I will come here and we will receive that data and here we can get the user id through data like this data dot id. Okay I hope it makes sense then if everything works fine I will write here promise which is then and we can just console.log whatever response we are getting like this. Ok, this is done. Now let's check the output. So I will save this. Then I will open my application. I will open the console. I will scroll down and now I am just deleting this user which is random1 and currently my total user is 20. So I will press here. Ok, you can see here that in console I have got that data user deleted and status is ok. But you can see that random1 is still present inside the list also total user count is not updated. So to fix this again I will come here and I will write one condition which will be if response.data.status this is referring to this status ok. If the status is ok then I will call one function here which is get all data. This get all data is getting all our users data. So what this will do when admin will click on this delete button this function will be called which will delete the particular user and if we will get status as ok in response we will call this api which is getting all the users data again ok. Now I will save this and you can see the moment I have saved that the total user count has been reduced to 19 also random1 has been deleted. 
okay now let's delete this random user okay so i am pressing on this delete and you can see total user count has been reduced to 18 also my user has been deleted let's delete this i i have pressed on delete and you can see the total user is 17 and it has been deleted so in this way you can delete any user or data in mongodb and node just through react native application that's it for the video i hope you understand each and everything and if you have any doubt then please let me know in comments thank you